fighting smile. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was fun, you know. And there were your eye favor, you know. I even watched the guy on TV, and I was like, "Yo, it's your eye. We're fighting. We're, we're punching each other." That was fun. You really starstruck by Uriah? Huh? You starstruck by Uriah in some sort of weird sense? I mean, I mean, he he he's one of my favorite fighters growing up. You know, when I when I was in high school, I used to watch him on WC all the time. You know, he was very explosive, very quick. You know, I like to watch all of his fights. So. Um, being in there, it was kind. Of, I was kind of like. You, you, know, you idolized him a little bit. Um, idolized. <laughs> uh, I, I said a little bit. Respect him a little bit. I, 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 I'm a fan. I'm yeah. a fan of your eye, you know. And you know, just being in there with him was kind of like. I couldn't help but to like kind of smile and laugh and giggle a little bit. I was kind of happy. It was like even when he was on top of me. Oh man, look, your eye is on top of me, throwing elbows. <laughs> UFC Fight Night, Hunt vs. Nelson. This one's going to be in Japan at the Saitama Super Arena. And what a wonderful card we have. I think this card is stacked. And it's free on Fight Pass. And the fight I'm talking about right now is Alex Caceres vs. Masanori Karahan. And Alex Caceres, I know, I talked to him backstage after his loss to Uriah Faber. And he was just rambling through his own mind. You know, really trying to ponder and, and figure out what he did wrong. And... and I can tell from, from, from listening to his banter that, that the guy's really a thinker. You know, as much as he always looks happy, he's thinking and he's wondering and he really wants to get this title. And Alex Caceres, his whole life has culminated to this moment when he fought Uriah Faber and he lost in, in the cage at UFC 175. It was on Fox Sports 1. It was the last fight on the card. It was really supposed to pump that pay-per-view and... I think he did it right. You know, what do you guys think? You think Alex Caceres did it right? Well, you know, he's a real nice guy, and he's taking on Masanori Kanahara, who's 21, I mean, excuse me, he's 23 and 11, and, and he has five draws. The, the record speaks for itself. You know, he, he's been beaten over, over 10 times. So this guy's taking, taking a beating in the cage and, and in the ring. And, you know, he fought in deep pancreas. He, he's mostly a deep fighter. That's the organization that he fights for. And he's on a, a he had a pretty nice win streak as well. You know, similar pattern towards Alex Caceres. He, he won six and then he lost one. Just like, like Alex, except he didn't fight in favor. And, and his last loss was just kind of weird. It was a disqualification. So, you know, kind of similar to, to the pattern that Alex uh, Caceres put forth in his last few fights. But. Alex, you know, he went on a nice win streak as well in UFC, and, and he fought the, the top competition. You know, compared to Masanori Kanahara, he definitely did. He beat Sergio Pettis in a, in a fight that he, a lot of people thought he was going to lose, but he was bigger than Sergio. You know, he overmatched him in, in, in size, and uh, you know, just a bunch of wins. And he's a, he's a vet. He's been in UFC for a while. And uh, Alex, Alex Caceres, I, I imagine he's going to win this fight. Pretty easily, you know, no fighter ever likes to say that a fight is easy, but I could do the talking for Alex, and I could say this is going to be an easy fight. Although Alex does have, you know, losses, he can be beat. We've seen it in UFC a bunch of times. We're not going to see it at UFC Fight Night in Japan. We're going to see a perfect Alex Casera. So, can't wait to see this fight, and uh, Alex, I wish you luck, and who knows, but uh, I expect you to win. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. And let me hear your breakdown for this fight. Who, who do you think is going to win the fight? How and why? Do you think that Alex Caceres has the better striking? Well, I definitely do. I think he wins in that area. And I don't think he's going to get taken down by Masanori. So I think he's going to beat him up with punches, with kicks. Are you with me on this one? I think it's pretty easy to decipher that Alex Caceres is going to win the stand-up battle in this fight. Thanks, guys. Peace out. What's going on? Doing good. How you doing? Pretty good. I mean, we talked before the fight. It's after the fight. <laughs> Thank you. You're still happy as always. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm always happy to do this. It's a little bit disappointing to lose, um, even if it is your eye favor. But uh, you know, um, as a fighter, you know, you always feel like you can do better, and there's always things to improve on. So I just needed some time uh, for myself just to think about what I need to be get back in the gym and start doing again. But overall, I'm not hurt and ready to get back in there as soon as possible. You are. You, you told me just before, 
Oh, uh, that you want to go back in there right now? I yeah, mean, if I could replay that third round, I'm ready to go again. <laughs> and you, you want you want favor still? I mean, the fight's over, but but you want to go back in there, and you, and you don't look beat up. You know, you look you look really good. Oh, thank you. Um, I definitely want to go in there again. Um, there's no doubt about it. But you know, it's it's the way of the game. You know, we got to get back to the drawing board, get better. You know, at least I know when I come back inside the cage, I'll be a lot I'll be a lot better. You know, he showed me a lot of my. A lot of things I need to work on, so I thank him for that. So you're thanking Uriah for showing you some things that you need to work on. Yeah. Like what? What are you going to work on? What are you going to? You said you're going to go back to the gym, and what are you going to take with you from this? Uh, definitely, um, you know, I, I guess uh, what I'm what I'm taking from this is, is I got to let go a lot more. You know, I got to get out there and be a, a, a lot more uh, just active. I feel like I wasn't as active as I should have been. My wrestling defense a lot better. You know, um, definitely. Um, I can always work on my wrestling, get it a lot better, and just uh, start being more active. You know, um, start. Uh, don't get me wrong, I respect all the fighters, but you know, start giving less respect in the cage when I get in there. You know, and just just let it all out there. So yeah, I mean, I met you, and you seem like your, your mind was racing, which to me is a good sign. It really means that you're looking for the for the way to the championship. You know, you're not giving up. You're not sitting out here and saying, "Oh, I don't feel good." You know, you you're ready to go right back in there, and that's that's what a true champion really is, Alex. You know. Thank you very much. That's what life's about, you know, you get knocked down and you get back up, like Rocky. Oh, yeah, you know, and just keep moving forward, yeah. you, know, you can't stop. See, I heard you say that they like you in Japan. Yeah, yeah. You got I, some fans over there? Oh, that's what I hear about, it. everybody loves me in Japan. Yeah? <laughs> you got some letters from, from the Japanese fans? Some letters? Some oh, emails, uh, Facebooks? I, I definitely get some emails, Facebooks, and I can't understand what, what they're saying, but, you know, I figured it's fan mail, so it's pretty cool. Well, thanks a lot, Alex, you know. Uh, I wish you luck, and uh, when you go back there, whatever Uriah taught you to do, you're going to do it. I think that's, that's, you said you're going to wrestle more, yeah. right? You're going to practice the wrestling, the sprawling. Definitely. So you can just brawl and knock him out. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Alex, man. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you. All right. He was really good at driving he all his all yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had a, he had a really good um, forward, forward pressure. And which oh, he's which, a good take down. Yeah, which I which I noticed it, it it wasn't necessarily the takedowns. I felt like I was defending pretty good, but like he was just really good at just driving forwards. Every time I had my leg was just popping back, and like I could have done things to prevent it. Yeah, but you know, it was just fuck. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. I like your fighting smile. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it was fun, you know. Then there were your high favor, you know. I even watched the guy on TV, and exactly. I was like, "Oh, yeah. it's your eye. <laughs> we're fighting. We're, we're punching each other." <laughs> That was fine. Though. You really starstruck by Uriah? Huh? You starstruck by Uriah in some sort of weird sense? I mean, I mean, he, he, he was one of my favorite fighters growing up. You know, when I, when I was in high school, I used to watch him on WC all the time. You know, he was very explosive, very quick. You know, I liked to watch all of his fights. So um, being in there, it was kind of, I was kind of like, you so know, You idolized him a little bit? Um, I uh, <laughs> I, I said respect, a little bit. Respect him a little bit. I, 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 I'm a fan. I'm yeah. a fan of Uriah, you know. And you know, just being in there with him was kind of like I couldn't help but to like kind of smile and laugh and giggle a little bit. I was kind of happy. It was like even when he was on top of me, oh man, look, your eyes on top of me throwing elbows. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is pretty wild, <laughs> you know. And um, and then for the second round, I'm like, oh my god, I'm hanging in there with your eye. Look at this. This is crazy. And then you know, like, oh man, I, I can actually probably do something. Should happen. Well, that's it. This is Paulie G with MMA Meltdown, and I'm signing off. Hello! Subscribe to Paulie G. What's going on, Alex? I'm doing good. How you doing? How you feeling? Feeling good. You feeling good? Yeah. Well, it's important to feel good, right? You got a big fight going on. Biggest fight of your life. Oh, yeah, it is. It is, right? Definitely. So, what, what's the plan? You got anything new? Anything new in your, in your arsenal? Or just the, the same thing? Just been training harder. Training a lot harder, so when I get out there, I fight a lot harder. You're always relaxed. I know you. You know you're always relaxed. But uh, Uriah Faber, he's really got a big name, um, biggest name there is. Would you say that's true, or in, in your division, would you say that Uriah Faber holds the, the, the biggest name? Oh, definitely. He has the most experience. He's been there for the longest. You know, um, names are names, but his definitely counts and holds weight. People love you, right, Faber. He has a huge fan base. They, they really like him. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's different. People just just love Faber. So, you know, tomorrow, or no, actually not tomorrow, but in a few days, uh, Saturday night, 
175. You got to go out there, and it's going to be on uh, Fox Sports, right? You're not on pay per view anymore. They switched it. Yeah. So, so what's up? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just going to win the fight, right? Well, that's the plan. You know, we go in there and win. There's only two men there. One has to lose. So, the best that I can do is just perform the, to the best of my ability. Are you going to try to scroll and brawl, stop the takedown? You know, so some people like to talk, other people, they don't like to talk as much. You know, you got to talk right by now before this fight and then go out there and do it. You know what I mean? So maybe you just keep it in your own head, right? Well, I mean, um, it's not really anywhere. I really don't think much of it. Yeah, just chill, right? We're all but men. Yeah. So we just get out there. Just a true fighter. Just relax, be men. Yeah, I wish you luck, man. You know, I think I think it's huge for you. It really is. I don't just think it. I know it. And... Uh, yeah, after you go out there and whip Uriah Faber, which probably not a lot of people don't think you can do right now, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have a big name. And uh, you won five in a row at this point, right? Yeah, you can say. Um, there was a no, there was a there no was contest? A no contest and a very controversial loss uh, with Figueroa. Right. For the low blows, two point deduction. So, I mean, if you wanna consider all the fights that should have been won, at least seven in a row. But uh, yeah. really, it's just two in a row because of the no contest. Some people say five in a row. What do you think about you know if you if you beat Faber, uh, a little breakdown between you and uh, T.J. Dillashaw? Um, I, I would have to imagine that would be have to be something next in line. I mean, Faber still is the number two um, person in the world. So, and I know Dillashaw got to fight Burrell again. You think so? He has to fight Burrell again? I think the I think he's in the mix already. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, Dillashaw and Morale 2 is going to happen soon. Really? I didn't, I didn't hear that yet. So I guess the winner of that fight, I should be able to get a chance at him. The winner of that fight. So, let, I mean, let, let's just talk. I like to do my videos far in the future, you know, maybe get more views out of them. But let's just talk let's, a little breakdown between you and TJ Dillashaw. I mean, the, the, you think that he... That he I mean, definitely went out there and whooped uh, Henan Burrell, yeah. but was there something wrong with Henan Burrell? I mean, you might know, you know better than me. I know that Jose Aldo said no, but to me, he looked a little pale, a little gaunt at the way in. You know, I don't want to put it uh, anything against T.J. Dillashaw. Not, I'm not sure. T.J. Dillashaw definitely looked just sharp and on point. He did. Fast. So, I mean, uh, if, I get the, if I get a chance to fight with uh, Dillashaw, I think it'll be a crazy stand-up battle, you know? I mean, the way he looked performing on his feet. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like he want to go to the ground. And, you know, um, I don't necessarily go to the ground um, out of my own choice. So uh, I think that'll be a really, really good uh, battle between me and him. That'll, that'll Six stand-up war, that's how you yeah. envision it? So just a, a bunch of punches and kicks and, and blood everywhere. You know, when that happens, anything could happen, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crazy scrambles. Anything you want to say to the fans out there? Uh, thank you guys for uh, supporting me, if you are, and come Saturday, uh, help me uh, light up some fireworks for you. All right, man. Thanks, Bruce Lee, bro. Thank you. Could you just say subscribe to Poli G, bro, for me one time? Uh -huh. Subscribe to Poli G. All right. Just say that. Subscribe to Poli G. Thanks, Molly. Thank you. How you doing, man?